100k. So, I'm not sure if you can see this. This is my N-Waistband uh, holster. It is a, an Alien Gear Club Tuck 2.0. Or XD Mod 2 9 millimeter. So you notice when I uh, when I put it back into the holster, I put it in. Normally, what I do is I fill around to make sure there's nothing that's going to snag it. Then I keep my finger off the trigger, and sometimes I'll even make sure that my hand is not on the uh, the grip safety. That means it's enabled. So if I just put it in just like this, I'm fine. In fact, as long as I don't have the grip safety uh, engaged, I really don't even have to check the, to see if there's anything that's going to snap the trigger. Um, that's if everything works properly. Plus, if you're jumping from different guns, um, some guns don't have grip safeties, and so what's going to happen is, is you're going to be, uh, become complacent and end up uh, shooting yourself in the butt, in the foot, or whatever. So, um, let me take out this, uh, this alien gear. I actually have two of these. So, this one is for the XD. I have another one that's for the, uh, I have, uh, several... 1911s uh, in commander size and so I got a, a holster an alien gear for that one as well for those as well uh, the difference between the two being that this uh, holster base is designed for uh, subcompact uh, guns so the difference between this one and uh, the 1911 one that I have is that this this base dips down a little bit further because the barrel length of the 1911s are, are longer um, minor commander size so uh, they're going to be longer than this and so they're going to need a little bit more room so it's longer here and I do believe it's the same size up here because I what I did was I placed them on top of each other and I noticed that this one was shorter um, so I've had this since end of March, the beginning of April, and it is now the first week of August, um, so I can't remember if I actually did a, an initial review of the product, um, I believe I did, um, I just never posted it to, uh, to YouTube, but um, it's looking good so far, none of the, uh, the braces have come out of the back, um, it required little break in, but as you can see, it's 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 actually conforming to my body. Um, I haven't lost uh, any of the, the 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 screws, and plus uh, the kit comes with uh, lots of uh, replacement screws and lots of these these green grommets here, um, in case you just happen to you know over time not check for looseness and they uh, end up popping out. Um, there is a problem with this one though. Let's see if you can uh, pick it up. You hear it? So inside of this, 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 this outer, well, I don't even think it's leather, a vinyl cover, and this inside uh, neoprene cover is a, a plastic uh, liner. Um, and that snapping that you hear, it's cracked. 
Um, a lot of people have been complaining about that and Alien Gear, uh, in their defense, they have been uh, uh, replacing those uh, as, as the complaints reach them. Um, what they're doing is they're having, they're either sending replacements to those people or having the people send them back in and what they'll do is they'll unstitch it and then uh, add a different lining material. They are lining the inside with the Cloak Tuck 3.0 uh, internals, which is a it's a metal liner lining instead of a plastic lining. Um, so instead of doing that, because I don't want to, this is the only holster I have for for this particular gun. Instead of losing my carry ability, I just went ahead and ordered. Uh, a new set of uh, holsters. Uh, I ordered a new set of uh, their 3.0 holsters. Um, so I ordered a new um, a new base for this one. So what I'll do is I'll just swap out the shell with that one and then throw the shell away or either uh, make a complaint to, uh, to Alien Gear and have them give me another one. Or um, and also what I did was a uh, I bought another one of these for my uh, uh, six hour P320 uh, compact and I also got another uh, an extra shell for that one for the uh, for my Glock 19 Gen 4 so uh, I'll, I'm pretty set with uh, holsters right now um, I actually have an extra shell for my uh, Uh, my SIG Pro 9mm. Uh, my intention was initially was to try and carry that gun. Um, that ended up being a waste of money and what I could do is I could actually send that shell back to uh, to Alien Gear. Yeah, you get free swaps. Um, so if you have a shell that let's say you change your, you you sell your gun or you trade it for something else, right? Um, instead of a Glock 19, uh, you go out and you get a, uh, a SIG 1911. Uh, you can take that, uh, you can send that, uh, that, that shell for that, the first gun and just tell them that you want one for a SIG 1911 and they'll send it to you for free. Let's cover, let's, let's talk about this a little bit here. These particular holsters... I believe the uh, the literature on them that they sent with the uh, with the holster states that they're designed. I think they're designed for three to six o'clock position. Well, was it? I think it's two to to five. So I I tend to carry mine between. Uh, four and five o'clock. Um, it just it feels better for me, and you know, it's it depends on the person. Um, it took me a while to get used to uh, in waistband as well, um, but I'm a firm proponent of stealth. Um, you know, the bad guy doesn't need to know that you carry it. I don't believe in open carry. It's it's an option for some people, but it's not an option for me. Um, plus, you know, if you're living in places where, uh, you know, the soccer moms get all crazy and then think you're you're going to be shooting up theaters just because they see you open carrying, uh, you know, there's a problem with that as well. Um, so I prefer to carry and keep it uh, in the waistband because people don't know. Unless I just happen to bend over and, and I'm printing. But as you can see here, my shirt isn't really showing all that much. So it depends on the clothes that you're picking. Um, in waistband does not go well with tight clothing. So if you're wearing skinny jeans, this is not going to work. Unless you buy your skinny jeans several sizes uh, too big. Uh, really what you're doing is you're, you're going to want some extra room in your waistband anyways so uh, no tight uh, clothing um, 
I wear a, a 34 waist, but I do have enough room in here to wear this. This works pretty well. I, I tend to wear my pants kind of loose anyways. Not ultra loose, but uh, this works well. Um, I have some cargo pants that I just bought that are 33s. Um, I prefer 34s, but they only had them in 33s and they were on sale. So what I did was I, I carried when I went and picked them up and then when I was in the dressing room, <clears throat> I put on the, the cargo pants and then I put this on just to see how they fit and they fit pretty well. Um, another thing is your shirt. You need to pick shirts that, uh, you know, prints are preferred because they hide the outline of the gun. My gun is right here. I can feel it. But you, you can't really see it. You might see, you know, like you, you can kind of see it there. But the printing breaks it up. You want something that's not going to be like way up here. Uh, some people I've seen, they carry like this. You might as well just carry, you know, open carry or or outside waistband if you're going to be doing this. Um, this, if you wear your shirts tucked inside, this will actually fit around the gun. Uh, but what you want to do is you don't want something, you don't want your, you don't want it super tight around your gun because you'll be able to see it. What you want to do is you want to blouse it. So that little, little bagginess there kind of hides the, the outline of the gun. Um, some people tend to prefer, you know, I've seen some people that can get away with having their shirt tails out of their dress clothes actually during work and whatnot. That, that tends to hide the gun as well. But yeah, there it is. I, I don't carry at work, so uh, that's not a problem. I carry all the way up until, you know, it's time for me to get out of the car and I leave the gun in the car. Um, because my place of work doesn't, uh, doesn't allow guns on premises. It's not a huge deal to me. Um, if something happens where I need the gun, I just go out in the parking lot, right? You know, if there's some shootout at work, my gun is accessible. I just have to get to it. But I, I you know, I, other than the, the cracked uh, plastic liner, um, this is a good holster set. Um, I have another holster. I have a Blackhawk holster that I was using for... Um, for this gun as well. Um, I do not recommend those. Those are nylon holsters. And even with a decent gun belt, this is a uh, Galco uh, leather gun belt. Um, nothing fancy, but uh, I believe it was like 45 bucks locally. I mean, this is totally adjustable. I've got it to where uh, I think, uh, where is it at? I have this one, two notches up in the front, and it might be neutrally set in the back. Yeah, it is. So it's in the middle setting. That's the way I like it canted. Uh, some people like uh, that FBI camp, but uh, I can't carry it that way <clears throat> when it's that far back behind me. If I was, if it was on the side, then maybe. But still, it's. The more it's canted forward, the more problem I think I'm going to have in grabbing it unless I tend to bend forward, you know, to bend forward to get a proper angle on the gun. But again, that's a personal preference. This is the way I, I like it.